today I wanted to open up a way that you can practice self-tape auditions because uh, if you guys didn't see, I recently took a self-tape audition workshop with Ranjeev uh, from the Meisner Center in Burbank. And it just brought up a lot of ideas for me and ways that I could help other people. And the biggest way that I know I could help other people is by helping you practice. So even if you don't get feedback from anybody else, just giving you a task so that you can practice. Because I can tell you, just go and practice in your room. Choose a random monologue from online or a random question online and just film those, this self-tape. You're not going to go do it because nobody's giving you specific instructions some of you might you know be practicing this already some of you guys might actually do this without needing this but i thought it would be fun for me to do this as a practice for you so i don't know how many people are going to enter but just in case i'm gonna put a deadline to when i'm gonna give you feedback and i want to give you the disclaimer that i am not a professional acting coach i'm not an acting coach period but let's treat this as if you were my friend in real life. And if you are my friend in real life, feel free to send it in as well. But when somebody, let's say my best friend, Jasmine, let's say she has an audition and she asks me to take a look at something, I am of course gonna give her genuine feedback and I'll tell her, you know, oh, maybe if you, um, you know, did this differently and during this part or when I was watching your self tape, it seemed like you, we're thinking about something else for a second maybe try that again but make sure you're really connected in that moment um technically you know if she has like a bunch of space above her or she's framed weird her lighting sound i'm gonna give you feedback as if you were my friend not as a professional so you can take this advice if you want or you cannot if you don't want to i just want to give you a way that you can practice a self-tape this one i'm going to make really easy because it's not going to be something that you're going to quote unquote perform you're not going to have to memorize anything so i want you to treat this as if it was a real audition so that you can actually practice um for what an audition might look like a self-tape audition not all auditions are the same in most auditions they will send you a very specific set of instructions and i'm going to tell you which ones uh what are the instructions for this video and i'm also going to put them in the description and i'm going to put my playlist on self tapes because i do have a playlist that with this video will be um 25 video songs so there's just there's so many videos on that playlist because um there's a lot that goes into self tapes but once you really practice and you have it down and you have a setup that you can just you know go and turn on the lights and put your phone where it's supposed to go your camera it's really easy to do once you have a setup and once you have practice as far as the technical side that gets so easy then what you focus most of your time on is the actual text what you're actually auditioning for um with so for this one i'm going to give feedback to the first 25 people and they have to be turned in by february 17th 2021 um if i receive anything after that i'm sorry but i'm not going to be able to reply um just because i want this to be for this video i want to give you feedback around this time because i don't know if i have a bunch of um, auditions that come up or if I have you know if I'm busy I don't want to have you think that I am going to give you feedback but with these videos I hope that I am helping you and that you are learning through these videos and there are going to be more opportunities in the future I'm working on a really fun collaboration with a subscriber of mine that is now you know my online friend and I'm really excited to bring that to you guys soon but this is going to be a practice of self tapes so for this audition, it has to be 90 seconds or less. And I want you to start by slating in a full body shot so that you can learn how to do a full body shot. And um, I want you to say your name, first and last name, and the city or country that you're from. In case you're not comfortable with the city, you can just say the country that you're from. And then after that, you're going to answer two different questions what is your favorite non-alcoholic beverage and why and of course for the section where you are telling me what your favorite non-alcoholic drink is and why you want it to be horizontal like this because this is how self-tape auditions are shot unless otherwise otherwise noted so for the practice audition it is very very simple you're not going to have to memorize anything this is something that you would get um if 
for some reason a set wants to get to know your personality, very, very likely this would be something that you would get for a commercial audition. I'm just going to give you the tiniest bit of acting feedback, but mostly I'm going to give you feedback on your um, setup. How's your sound, your um, the lighting, the framing, that kind of thing. So in hopes that you can improve the technical side of your self-tape audition and um, be able to more successfully do future auditions. In case you've never done a self-tape audition, I wanted to give you a quick description and show you what it should look like in general. So starting off with the slate, I did ask for a full body slate. So this is going to be vertical because it's pretty hard to get a good full body shot horizontally, especially because you're filming this on home at home. And I wanted you to practice uh, full body shots because they can be tricky. If the camera is at a weird angle, your body will be distorted and you want to give the best representation of what your body actually looks like when you are submitting an audition. And I do have a whole video on full body slates if you want to see that. Make sure your background is also a solid color or something that's not distracting. Just try and find a wall that is clear and you can film your audition in front of. I'm using a gray savage paper. You absolutely do not have to go out and get paper. That's an option that you can consider for the future if you want to make, uh, you know, your backdrop a little bit nicer. Then for answering the questions, you're going to flip the camera so that it is horizontal and your framing should be around your waist to mid chest area as the bottom of the shot. And then above your head, you just want to leave a tiny bit of space. Again, you can be distorted and look strange. And this is just the best and most common framing I have seen. As far as editing this self-tape audition, you can use any free software that is out there. A lot of phones already allow you to edit within your phone. If you're an Apple user like a laptop or a desktop, iMovie usually comes free with that or you can purchase it for $15, but please don't spend any money in doing this practice audition. I really want you guys to be able to practice this with whatever you have and work out the kinks in your self-tape audition process so that when you do get an audition, you are better prepared and have worked out through all of the, how can I edit this? How do I upload it to YouTube as an unlisted link? All of that. And this should go without saying, but make sure you are lit well, natural light is the best and that I can actually hear you. And look straight into the camera when you are answering the questions. Try and put as much personality as you can in both the slate and answering the question. This is still something I struggle with because sometimes I'm in my head too much or you do too many takes and I just don't have as much me in this as possible. So it's something else that I'm trying to practice, trying to do a little dance before I do this or sing some kind of show tunes. Um, but in this particular example, I am not looking at the camera because it was for um, a scene, a scene audition. Anybody can do this if you're an absolute beginner or if you're advanced, if you just want feedback from me. And of course, if you are under 18, please make sure your parents know that you are doing this and have them um, either submit it or have it in writing that you did get permission for, from your parents to be able to submit to this. Thank you so much for watching. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.